What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will show you 15 CDA tweaks that I always use. These tweaks are very useful and will make it easier for you to do many things. Alright guys, so the first tweak we have here is App Store Plus Plus. This tweak is one of the most important tweaks for me and I use it a lot. This tweak allows you to upgrade or downgrade apps from the App Store. With this tweak you will be able to downgrade any app you want to any old version. The way the tweak works is easy. After installing the tweak, just click on any app you want to downgrade and as you can see guys here, you will find a new option which is downgrade. Just click on it and as you can see, now you can downgrade the app to any old version you want. Also guys, you can see the version of the app that you have from here. This tweak is one of the most important tweaks for me and I recommend you guys to install this tweak. Alright, the next tweak is Audio Recorder XS. This is one of the most important tweaks for me and it's a wonderful tweak that allows you to record all calls on your device, whether it's a phone call, WhatsApp call, Viber or others. Alright, after installing the tweak, just go to the settings to activate the tweak. Okay, as you can see, from here you can change the settings of the tweak and enable the options you want. From here guys, as you see, you can record the calls of these apps. You can choose to record automatically or manually. If you want to record the call automatically, just enable this button here. The next tweak is Axon. This is also a great tweak and it's a tweak that will redesign the notifications in the lock screen and in the notification center. After installing the tweak, you can activate the tweak from the settings and simply change the tweak settings from here. As you can see guys, this tweak will give you this beautiful and simple design. You can change the location of the notifications to the right or in the middle and you can change the design through the settings of the tweak. It's a good tweak guys and I recommend you to give it a try. The next tweak is Bezi2. This tweak has been removed from diagnostic source, but you can download it from another source. This tweak is useful for iPhone X users and above. This tweak will allow you to show the battery percentage in the notch devices. This tweak will allow you to show the percentage of the battery as you can see. Also changing the shape of the battery icon and others. The next tweak is BioProtect XS. Alright guys, if you don't know this tweak, then you need to know it. This tweak will allow you to fully protect your device and lock apps and settings with a passcode or by touch ID or face ID. You can lock apps, folders, settings pans, power of protection, color ID protection and more. As you can see, you can lock any app you want with a password or you can use the touch ID or face ID. This tweak is great and very useful tweak. I just recommend you guys to give it a try. The next tweak is Icon Tweak. This tweak is an alternative tweak for the Icon Tool Tweak. This tweak will give you some useful options in apps such as clearing app data or opening app path in files and others. As you can see, you can enable the tweak from here either by dragging the app icon up or down. And you can also change the options that you want to appear in the list. Okay, the way to use the tweak is simple. Just swipe the icon up or down. As you can see, now you can change the app name, set fake badges, clear the cache, back up the app data, or delete the app data. This is a great tweak. It's worth a try. The next tweak is iKiwi 4. This tweak is one of the most important and favorite tweaks for me. This tweak allows you to customize the keyboard and add an extra row to your keyboard. Alright, after installing the tweak, you can customize the settings of the tweak in the settings. Alright, as you see here, you can customize the numbers on the keyboard and add anything you want. Alright, as you can see guys here, this tweak will give you an extra keyboard row here. You can put numbers, letters or anything you want. This is a great tweak. The next tweak is Jellyfish. Jellyfish is one of the important tweaks that I've installed on all my devices. Jellyfish is a tweak that will make your iOS lock screen more modern, more beautiful and more useful. It was inspired by the watch OS motion face. It's a really good tweak, I recommend you to give it a try. The next tweak is Key Plus. Key Plus is a tweak that makes much more productive use of the wasted space on the keyboard interface by filling it with the useful commands and shortcuts. 
You can also change the customization of the tweak settings from here as you like. Alright, so as you see here, this tweak will give you these options at the bottom of the keyboard, such as selecting text, copying and pasting, emoji, redo and undo. This is a really good tweak for iPhone X users and above. The next tweak is Milky Way. Milky Way is an amazing tweak and one of my favorite tweaks. This tweak allows you to use more than one app at the same time. The way the tweak works is easy. Just open the multitasking, now press and hold the app that you want to use in the background. As you see, now you can use two apps at the same time. You can also adjust the size of the app as you want. This is a really awesome tweak, I recommend you to give it a try. The next tweak is Lidl. Lidl is another take on miniature notifications banners on iOS and it's one of the most customizable options out there. The way the tweak works is easy and simple. Just watch this video here in which I explained how this tweak works and how to try and change the notifications. The next tweak is Photo Manager. This tweak is one of the tweaks that I always use, and it's a tweak that will allow you to customize the Photos app, so you will be able to lock folders with the passwords, hide albums, and more. You can customize the tweak through the settings of the tweak. As you can see guys, just press and hold on any folder and it will be locked with a password. You can also use Touch ID or Face ID, a useful and beautiful tweak. The next tweak is Snap for 2. This is one of the most important tweaks that I've used since iOS 7. This tweak is one of the best CD tweaks ever. Snubber is a tweak that lets you crop a portion of the screen and keep it floating on the screen. The regular way to take a screenshot is by pressing the power button and the volume up button. But with this tweak, just pinch with three fingers and then you can crop a portion of the screen as you can see. As you see now, you can keep it floating on the screen. You can use it in any other app you want. There is also another way to take a screenshot with this tweak. Just spread with three fingers. Now you can select a specific part as you want. The difference between the first and the second method is that the first one, once you select the part you want, it will be automatically selected. And the second one, you can select the part you want and then double tap on it to choose it. It's a really awesome tweak that I recommend you guys to give it a try. The next tweak is Spring to Moist 5. Spring to Moist 5 is the only tweak that you will need to customize your device the way you like it. With more than 100 different options from the number and the size of icons on the home screen, to animations, to control center, you will finally have full control over how your device looks and behaves. As you can see, you will find many wonderful and useful options that will make your device more useful. Alright, I will go to the home screen. In the home screen, I have 5 rows of apps instead of 4. You can change them to 6 and also you can change the number of duck icons to 5 or 6 or even more. Spring to Moist 5 is a great tweak that I recommend you to give it a try. The last tweak is CC Modules. CC Modules is a tweak that adds third-party app modules and utility modules to the iOS control center. More control center modules for iOS 11, 12, 13, and also iOS 14. To find the modules, go to the settings. Now go to the control center options. Now scroll down and you will find many, many new modules that you can add to the control center. As you can see, this is my control center in which I've added many useful modules. CC Modules is a great tweak and I highly recommend you guys to install it. Alright guys, these are the 15 best CDA tweaks that I use all the time. Of course, there are many useful tweaks that I will talk about in other videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace.